So the annual reports for projected cybersecurity spend for the year of 2026 have been reported here recently from Gartner, one of the more reputable firms in this space, projecting a $240 billion investment leading into 2026. Now, are these figures actually real? Do they actually have merit? I mean, who really knows? But I'm going to quickly just kind of go through the reality of these projected figures. How will this will impact the security job market and maybe some skills that you should focus on leading into the year of 2026. Taking a look at the breakdown for the $240 billion investment, that's a lot of money, from Gartner, the three domains, the sub-segments that they forecast spend in include network security, security services, and software security. Now, these are kind of high-level segments or domains. So these would filter into things and in budgets such as cloud security, identity management, threat detection, compliance, and, of course, AI-driven defenses. A lot of the spend will be in the services component of security. In other words, companies are going to be using this spend to continue to keep their lights on, service existing contracts for tooling and operations, and perhaps continuing to accelerate their so-called AI-driven approach, right? So think automation, AI, and managed security services. These are probably going to take a much bigger slice of that pie. So the industry is booming, of course. This is a record investment, but spending of, is not evenly distributed. You know, I think that the spending is going to be more towards optimization. Um, so there are, of course, many caveats to these figures. How and where are these sources referenced from Gardner? Is Gardner actually getting you know budget sheets from companies sent to them and governments? Probably not. So at best, this is a best guess projected figure. Uh, I don't know necessarily the spread on how accurate these are. But let's just say that this is relatively true. I would argue that a lot of this is, like I said, going to go towards that servicing component of security. So what does this $240 billion figure mean for career prospects? Well, if you've been trying to get in security, especially in these last couple of years in this tough job market, or you're maybe trying to level up, you will know that, of course, these projected figures and skills for edge gap, they don't necessarily translate into headcount figures. And, and like I said, most of the time, organizations in this case specifically are in optimization mode, meaning that the $240 billion investments are really about accelerating their existing security programs, hiring fewer people, but looking at those who can do more with less and look into people who have domain expertise, specifically with automation. What I think this means is that skill and domain expertise, as I said, are going to really be the key drivers for your career prospects. And I think it's more about showing kind of your practical set of skills. So, you know, for you specifically, if you're in a career or trying to get a career that's like building labs, building side projects, automating various different tasks, thinking through problem spaces, this is definitely going to be more of the expertise and skills that organizations are looking for. So while companies, you know, are spending so-called more than ever, are they actually, you know, going to hire more than ever? Probably not. It's probably going to be a bit more pickier and they're going to be looking for individuals who don't just have, you know, a certification, but are actually showcasing practical expertise. Heading into 2026, here's where I would focus your energy specifically for skills. Focus on the fundamentals. Those who have a solid foundation in the fundamentals of IT and security will be able to provide value and build really an enhance a security-based uh, organization and strategy. Uh, so definitely focus on those fundamentals. Cloud security and identity, cloud and hybrid uh, security continues to be a major initiative, right? So having a solid understanding of cloud technologies, specifically in the big three providers, definitely will have a comparative set of skills for you if you um, are able to talk and at least be aware of you know cloud security and identity concepts. Software security. So even in the age of AI vibe coding, a lot of vulnerabilities that we see today are on the application level. And even LLMs, they produce buggy, uh, bad, or just inherently insecure code. And I think actually with less visibility into like the entire coding stack and more of these vibing based applications, I think we're actually going to see an uptick in software security vulnerabilities. So having a solid understanding in secure coding principles and some of the most popular programming languages is certainly going to help you. AI security and security operations. So understanding how AI can be applied to both defense and attack based scenarios. I know, I know it's the buzzwords, but I, I do think that there are 
actually are some capabilities where AI is, you know, kind of shining. So I do think, you know, learning how to leverage LLMs and maybe being familiar with some of the more popular frameworks is certainly not going to put you back. It could help you in building, at least becoming more attractive for recruitments. I know it's, it's a bit of a, a bubble that we are in. And finally is business context. And this is where GRC kind of resides. So learning to communicate risk with businesses, justifying security investments, and uh, aligning your security controls with business goals. You know, these are going to be very important for you. Of course, you always have to communicate the needs of uh, security to the business and, and make it a business case. So really the theme here for all of these skills is be technical, be communicative, be practical and build. And I really think that, that we're in this kind of new age of becoming your own builder. Um, so if you can demonstrate these skills in a practical way, I think that you may be able to find new opportunities. So the $240 billion investment, I don't know. I think it's maybe more of a clickbait headcount to some extent. But I do think that security programs that are definitely within the top five IT expenditures, and there will continue to be moving forward. So uh, I certainly recommend that you you know you take a look and really curate and align your goals with the skill sets that you want to build in security, and really focus on those kind of domain expertise areas. Um, I hope to see the security job market get better in 2026. Although I I really just don't know and. No one really knows what where that's going to head. Um, so hopefully this video has been useful. Perhaps an insider or two has highlighted with you. Let me know in the comments below kind of what you are going to be focusing on in the year 2026. And until the next time, have a good day.